I don't think we have we have come to a situation where A has already taken over, uh, you know, the whole business of human enterprise, and uh, we are slowly getting uh, phased out. I don't personally think so. I think A is here to argument human beings in whatever walk of life that we are, whether it is creative or productive or uh, you know uh, business. That's one part of the answer for saying that where AI is going to help us rather than completely take us out. I personally don't believe in what the Terminator movies have kind of given us as a you know as, as a warning shot. We need to take that seriously, but I am not that um, pessimistic. That is answer for the first question. Robots already upending us. I personally don't think so. I definitely recommend all of the people who are watching this to go watch Yan Lekun, Stephen Wolfram, and if you have chance to also go read Francois Chole, please go ahead and then do that. There are a lot of proponents out there who are very clear in telling that the advancements that we have today are nowhere closer to human intelligence. All the advancements that we have seen so far are specifically right now focused on the large language models and it is all about consuming the text as human beings that we have created. Yes, there are advancements in other places, but I am not sure we have gone to a place where the advancements that we have can be taken to robots to a point where they can completely replace us. That's my answer to the second question. How we can continue to be the, uh, the, 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 the systems that spearhead AI rather than be taken over by them. My answer to that is I think my, uh, uh, my way of looking at this and my uh, heart lies in presenting that it is the open source way of building AI that will help us to continue to be in prey and make sure that we get to hold the cards in our hands. That's my answer to the last question.